leaving, y'all. Well, no, afternoon. Well, it ain't afternoon yet. <laughs> Almost. Well, yes, it is. It's afternoon. But anyway, good afternoon, y'all. It's uh, October 29th. Today is Sunday. 2023 is our year. And I am back again with another video. Hello, my friends. And I uh, start the video off again with I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It's beautiful out here where I am in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, it's almost Halloween. So anyway, with that being said, I was looking back over time in my life, right? You know, which has been plenty of time, <laughs> believe me. Well, life wasn't going as good as I wanted it to. I'm quite sure a lot of y'all can relate to this. Life wasn't going like I wanted it to, especially financially. Uh, I, had, I hadn't accomplished many goals, or even if I had any goals at all. Uh, I remember a time like when I was a child, right? And you know, you used to hear people talking about what they wanted to be when they grow up. And parents would ask their kids, what you want to be when you grow up? I've never experienced that. My mom, I, I come up with a place where they never asked you what you, what you wanted to be when you grow up because they didn't think you were going to be nothing. As a matter of fact, it was time when my mom told me I wasn't going to mount anything. I don't think she meant no harm. She ain't know the brother. She was saying it when she was mad, but that still ain't cool. But, but I come from a place where we didn't have many dreams about, you know, talking about what we were going to do when we grow up. We might have, you know, when we were playing, I want to be a police. I want to be a firefighter or whatever. Just out there playing cops and robbers and stuff. But overall, we didn't have any dreams of talking about I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. If anything, it would be like NBA or uh, NFL, that's all we thought we was, could do, if if that. So, uh, as a child, I never really thought about what I'm going to be when I grew up. And as I grew older, I never thought about it. I'm going to be this, I'm going to be, you know, didn't think I could be anything. So, that's the purpose of this video. If you don't think you can be anything, if you ain't got nothing that you're trying to be or want to be, guess what? That's what you're going to be. Nothing. You're going to be what you want to be. You're going to be what you think about being. If you ain't thinking about being that thing, if you ain't thinking about being a doctor, if you ain't thinking about being a lawyer, you ain't going to be that. Plain and simple. So, it was times, you know, not too long ago, like I said, when I, was, I found myself not accomplishing any goal and the only reason I didn't accomplish any goal is because I didn't have any shit. <laughs> I couldn't fathom that for some reason. I used to see people that looked like they had a nice life, nice financial thing, nice car, nice career, you know, family, all that. And I didn't have nothing. And I used to wonder, like, how are those people able to achieve those things and not me? Why not me? So that's the title of this video. Not why not me, but why not you? Have you ever sat and wondered and thought to yourself, That person living a life, whether they be a millionaire, a thousandaire, whatever, with just, you know, great family. You ain't got to be a millionaire to have a great life. Just overall great life. You know what I'm saying? It could be whatever you consider a great life. A great life, you could be 50000 a year, 40000 or whatever, but whatever you consider a great life, why is it that you don't have a great life in your mind and other people do? The people that do have a great life that you consider a great life, why they got it and why you don't? Why not you? What makes them any better than you? Are they better than you? And that's a simple answer. You already know the answer to that question. No matter, you might have lied to yourself and said that they are because they have what you don't have, so they must be better than you. 
And that's a damn lie. A lot of times they might be worse than you. Not as smart as you. You might be smarter than them. There's people that have achieved more than you in life that ain't as smart as you. That don't work as hard as you. Are not as good of a person as you. But they have more in life than you. Why is that? I'm going to tell you. Because they believe they could. What you achieve ain't got nothing to do with how good you are. How smart you are. How much better you are than other people. What you achieve in life is based on what you believe you can achieve. Nothing else. <laughs> Preach, preacher. <laughs> what you have in life, what you achieve in life, ain't based on how good you are at anything. There are people extremely talented, especially where I came from. You talking about Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time? No, he's the greatest one that you know about because he actually did what he needed to do. There are people that you've never seen that never made it that are much better in basketball than Michael Jordan. But Michael Jordan actually did what he needed to do. Talent, it ain't all about talent. It ain't all about talent. It ain't all about how smart you are. It ain't all about none of that. It's all about belief. Do you believe you can do it? Because if you don't believe you can do something, you ain't gonna put forth the effort to do it. I don't care how much talent you got. I didn't see people, man, with so much talent not do anything. Because, and you would wonder why, but you don't know what's in their thought process. You don't know the fact that they don't think they can do it. And you're looking at them like, man, you're the best I ever seen. But they don't, they don't think that. You might think they do. You might find it hard to believe that you might see a woman that's the most gorgeous, drop-dead woman you've ever seen in your life, but she got low self-esteem. Makes no sense. You might see a man that's the most handsomest man you've ever seen in your life, ripped up, look body like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he feel like he, he, he feel as small inside. They got no self-esteem, no self-worth. You never know what's in a person's mind. It all starts with your mind. Without your mind, you have nothing as a human being. God gave every existing life form a, a species a, a strength. Say, an elephant, his strength is his size. A lion, his strength is his teeth and his claws so forth and so on. Every species has a strength that makes them able to survive in life. God didn't give us the physical strength he gave a gorilla or the strength he gave an elephant. The strength God gave us is our mind. We're the strongest mentally. That's why we run it. That's why human beings are the top species. So you got to get your mind right before your life get right. Because that's our strength. It's not, even though I'm at, the, I'm at the gym now, but my strength ain't lifting them damn weights. My strength is my mind. I got big and strong because I thought I could. If I, So therefore, when I thought I could, that made me go to the gym. Because I think I could get big and strong. If you don't think you can be a lawyer, you ain't going to law school. If you don't think you don't be a lawyer because you go to law school. You be a lawyer because you think you can be a lawyer. You don't be a doctor because you went to medical school. That ain't what makes you a doctor. Medical school don't make you a doctor. Medical school just gives you the credentials. What makes you a doctor is the fact you thought you could be a doctor. Why not you? That's why not you. Because you don't think you can. You, you think other people are better than you when they're not. You think other people have achieved more greatness than you because they're greater than you, but they're not. They ever just thought they could. That mind you got in that head of yours, and I got a big old head. That mind you got in your head, your, your head ain't got to be as big as mine to be as smart as me. <laughs> the human. Element. That head 
you got on your shoulder, that brain you got up in there, that is the most powerful thing in existence that God created on this earth. But we ain't using it, most of us. Most of us are using it against ourselves. When you tell yourself you can't do something, you can't do it. That mind ain't gonna let you do it. That, that mind ain't gonna think of no way of doing nothing because you done told yourself you couldn't. If you think you can't, you can't. If you think you can, like a little engine that could, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Next thing you know, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Next thing you know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It all started with I think I can. I promise you, y'all, listen to me, please. You can do anything you think you want to You can Anything you think you can do, you can do it. I ain't telling you what I heard, I'm telling you what I know. I'm riding on this car, man, a dude that ain't have 52 quarters of work rubbed together. I'm sending a $40,000 classic. People offer me money for I ain't selling. They offer me what I want for it, but hey, it's a praise and a set at $40,000 right now, and I ain't finished with it. I ain't have two nickels to rub together not too long ago. What happened with my life, what transformed my life, was I was on Netflix about to cancel my subscription because I ain't like none of the bullshit movies on that, right? Tell you how God work and faith works, right? What changed my life, my thinking process. I was about to cancel the subscription. I was just scrolling through. This has been about eight, nine years ago, if not longer. I was scrolling through and saw a movie called The Secret. It just jumped out at me. I'm like, well, what's this about? So, I looked at it, checked it out, and it was teaching you about the power of the mind. As a man thinking, so is he just that type of stuff. The law of attraction. What you think is what you are. What you believe is what you have. It all starts in the mind before it starts in the world. A lot of people want to accomplish something before they believe they can. A lot of people want to see it done before they believe it can be done. A lot of people want to lift 400 pounds before they believe they can lift 400 pounds. No, you got to believe you can lift 400 pounds before you can lift it. You got to believe first before you can do it. You're not going to see it before you believe it. You got to believe it before you see it. Let me repeat that because it went over your head. You're not going to see it before you believe it. You got to believe it before you see it. If you don't believe it, you ain't going to see it. If you don't believe it, you ain't going to see it. So if you're wondering why ain't nothing happening in your life the way you want it to happen, because you don't believe it will. You don't believe it can. You don't think you're worthy. You don't think you're capable. You think all them people that got great things are some type of alien, they're evil, they worship the devil, uh, the Illuminati, they done robbed somebody and did dirt. No, they just believe they could. Jay-Z is where he is. I done listened to the man preach a many a time about he just, even when he was in the project, he can, he believed that he can be where he is now before he got there. Once you believe it, the way gonna be made for you. You might not know, I didn't know how I was gonna get this car. I didn't know how I was gonna get my own truck. My credit was shot. I didn't know none of that. I just believed I would. At some point, watching that movie, got me to change my mindset where I started believing I can have things that I don't have yet. Faith. Church didn't give me faith. All that stuff I was telling didn't work for me. Watching the move, God still works outside of church. God don't need church to get to you. God don't need a pastor to get to you. Don't let nobody fool you into believing that the only way to get to God is through church. That's bullshit. The only way God gonna look out for you and take care of you if you do right. No, God take care of your ass. You ain't you in the crack house. Don't let them church folk lie to you and bullshit you and have you not even looking towards God because you think God ain't want nothing to do with you because you living bad. You ain't doing right, so God ain't got nothing to do with That's a lie. You can be the biggest drug dealer in your, your city like somebody I know used to be. And God still got your back. God still working in your behalf. That's how I ran across that movie that changed my mindset. Not church. God got me the way I believe. I believe any damn thing is possible. 
Right now I have everything I want at this moment and everything that I'm going to get that I believe I'm going to have, I'm going to have that too. Because I believe it. And I'm trying to convince y'all, if you don't believe right now, first thing you need to do is start believing first. And I guarantee you everything you dream of that you believe you can have. If you don't believe you can have it, you can't have it. Stop waiting on finding out how you're going to do it before you believe you can get it. I didn't know how I was going to get this car, but I got it. I didn't know how I was going to get it before I got it. I didn't know how I was going to get my truck, my own rig, my own 18-wheeler semi-rig. You know what that cost? And how much money they make. When things good, sometimes we don't make no money because of the economy. You know? But anyway, I had no idea before I got the truck how I was going to get it. But I believed I was going to get it. And I was making ways to get it. I was looking in the paper, uh, shopping for a truck, even though I had the money. Go shop for the house. Go look for the house, even though you ain't got the money. Even though you ain't got the credit, go look for it. Exercise the faith like the words of the faith of a mustard seed. The fact that you ain't got no money, but you still going liquor and you you at the, the Lamborghini dealership. Ain't got shit. But you're not looking at picking out what the one you want. Already. That's what I'm talking about. I was shopping for a rig when I ain't got no credit, no money. And get what I got now? Of my own rig. I'm telling you, baby, it worked. Faith. It's so powerful, I, I, I didn't believe it. Church made me not believe it. Experiencing in real life, for real, for myself, I believe it. That mind, that faith. I didn't know how I was gonna get this car. I'm in a $40,000 right now, praise, and I ain't through with an old school classic. 66 Mercury Park Lane. My insurance positive praise at a 40 grand. So, some, so I ain't worried about nobody stealing it, hitting it, none of them. If somebody hit it or steal it, I'm forty thousand dollar richer. Immediately, I ain't worried about none of that. I didn't know how I was gonna do this. I just, I wanted it. I start believing I can have it, so I start looking at places that's gonna paint my car when I get it. I ain't had it yet. I'm already trying to see who's gonna paint it, who's gonna do my interior, who's gonna do my top. Before I even had the car, I didn't even know what kind of car I was gonna get. I just knew I was gonna have my old school convertible. Just didn't know what. And here I am. I ain't bragging, I'm trying to tell you how this thing called faith works. Believe it before you see it, and you will see it. I promise you, Big Ward telling you that. Now let me go in the gym and finish looking like an Adonis. Holla at y'all later. Have a blessed Sunday. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all for subscribing and rocking with me. I got plenty more to come. We're going to be on this thing for a long God allow me to live. Bye-bye, y'all. Now that ain't man. Bye.